Hello everyone and very welcome to my YouTube channel Laibaz English Corner. In today's video, we are going to start another interesting topic which is very much important in grammar and syntax. So our today's topic is tree branches. We have learned the concept that how to categorize the words. There are different ways of categorization and syntactic function is the most important. Today, we are going to see the lexical categories in how many categories we can divide the word and what's the process of dividing the lexical categories. We will start with the basic of tree structures, tree branches. So first category is noun and we will represent noun by n. We all know that noun is a name of a person, place or a thing. Second lexical category is verb, which is denoted by we. And verb is the action verb or a state of being. For example, run, climb, ride, etc. Third lexical category is adjective. Adjective basically modifies a noun. For example, a blue car. Now blue is defining the car which is a noun. An adjective will be represented by A, D and J. Adjectives that come before noun are known as pre-nominal adjectives. And the adjectives come after noun are known as predicative adjectives. Fourth lexical category is adverb which is donated by A, D and V. Adverb modifies a verb, an adjective or another adverb. For example, she is running quickly. Now quickly is an adverb. Fifth lexical category is of prepositions. Prepositions are denoted by P. If you want to do the best categorization of all the words, it's important to remember all of them in detail. Sixth lexical category is of determiners, which include multiple things which you have to keep in mind. And determinal will be donated by D. Now, determinate consists of four important things which you have to keep in mind for the further categorization. Some important things about determiners are that they are mostly required and they are not used more than once in a sentence and they mostly belong to the closed class category. So, determiner number one is demonstratives. Whenever we point towards something, for example, that is my book, this is my book, those are your clothes. So in these things, when we point towards something, they are known as demonstratives and they are the part of determiner. So whenever there are demonstratives in a sentence, you have to donate them by D. Second is articles. We all know about articles that there are three articles in English, which is A, N and the. Third thing which include in determiners are that there is quantifiers. What are quantifiers? Basically quantifiers show the quantity of something. When we are known the quantity of something, they are also denoted by D. For example, few, some, little, many. These things will be included in determiners. Fourth and the last thing which is included in the determiner D category is possessives. Basically, possessives show possession when we show possession of something. For example, this is my shirt. This is her shirt. So his, her, your, mine, our. These all things will be included in possessives. So whenever you see a determiner, you have to see four things, which is demonstratives, articles, quantifiers, and possessives. Now the seventh lexical category is complementizers. Complementizers are donated by C. Always remember that there are only four complementizers in English, which are that, if, whether, and for. Eighth lexical category is tense. Now, tense basically includes three things, and tense will be donated by T. So, basically, tense includes three things which you have to keep in mind. Number one, is the auxiliary verbs 
Number two is the modal verbs. Number three is the infinite marker. Auxiliary verbs will include all the helping verbs and modal verbs like can, could, these will be included in tense. And the last one is infinitive marker. So infinitive basically whenever you will see two plus first form of verb, that will be an infinite marker and that will be the part of the sentence. Ninth lexical category is particles, which will be donated by P-A-R-T part. So there is another important concept related to particles that they basically look like a preposition but they behave differently. Whenever we will see, they will look like a preposition but they are actually not the preposition, they are the particles. So there is an important concept which you have to keep in mind that if it move after a noun phrase and it makes sense, then this is a particle. But whenever it will move after the the noun phrase and it don't make any sense that will be preposition for example i hang up the call so here up which is looking like a preposition so if we will move it after the sentence i hang the call up which is making sense so it is the particle last one the last lexical category is of conjunctions and we all know about conjunctions Conjunctions basically join phrases, clauses, and sentences, and conjunctions are donated by C O N J. So, this was all from my side. This was the part one of categorizing or recognizing the function, the syntactic function of all the words in a sentence. In the next video, we will have a practice and we will make branches of different sentences to make it good. Hope you will like my video. Remember all these things before the next video. Thank you so much. Subscribe my channel.